Before we attempt a sample calculation, we need to write down a few formulas. We learned in a previous video that f is frequency, c is the speed of light, and lambda is wavelength. Frequency is measured in hertz, speed of light is measured in meters per second, and wavelength is measured in meters. Here's some new ones. Energy, that's measured in joules. And h is something called Planck's constant. It's a constant, and its number is always 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. So energy equals h times f. But you know that frequency equals c over lambda. So instead of writing f, we can substitute c over lambda. So we have two equations that we can combine to make a third equation. So make sure you have all three of these written down. Now let's try a sample calculation. An atom emits a photon of green light. Its wavelength is 480 nanometers. What is the frequency of the light? Here's some useful information. This will help you along the way. One meter equals a billion nanometers. This is Planck's constant. And this is the speed of light. Now they're asking for the frequency of light. We have a formula for frequency. Its frequency equals c over lambda. c, that's given to us. So let's plug that in. Now on the bottom is lambda, which is wavelength. In the problem, they tell us the wavelength. It's 480 nanometers. But you'll notice that this is in nanometers, and this is in meters per second. Meters per second and nanometers, that won't cancel out. The only thing that will cancel out meters will be meters. So we'll have to convert nanometers into meters and then plug it in. 480 nanometers. That will be our given. Let's use dimensional analysis and this conversion factor to convert nanometers to meters. So 480 nanometers equals 4.8 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. Now we can plug that in for the wavelength. Crunch the numbers on your calculator. And the units are hertz, remember. Frequency is measured in hertz. So the answer is 6.25 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Let's try another quick problem. What is the energy of the light? Well, we have a formula for energy. Its energy equals h times f. We know what h is. That's a constant. It's this number here. So let's plug that in. And f, we calculated f in the previous problem. It's this. So let's plug that in. If we multiply h times f, that will tell us how much energy there is in that particular photon of light. So make sure you can work your calculator and that you get a final answer of 4.14 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. Remember that energy is measured in joules.